Okay, let's do a theory here on moon casting. For my table, I am going to use a square divided up into nine squares. The numbering that you see is according to another system that I'm working with. And the two overlap and weave into each other, but I won't go into any explanation about that now. Just trust me on this. So, okay, so what I'm working with here, the other system I work with 21, 21 squares. And when you divide it up into nine equal parts, you have seven by seven squares, nine of them, which is a nice cozy number. Okay, so nine, of course, is a very Norse number. Odin hung on the tree for nine days, and then he uh, got access to the runes, etc., and so forth. There's nine worlds, and, uh, and in the new system that I'm working with, there's, there's nine chakras, the seven basic chakras that are in the body, so to speak. And then there's two exterior chakras. One chakra is at the center of the earth, the other chakra is in the newosphere, or where the aurora borealises extend around and envelop the planet. This is a mental sphere that's um, developing. So the human being is stretched from the center of the earth to the newosphere. So anyway, having sort of that, blah, 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 let us commence. Okay, so we take our bag of runes, have a nice bag here, to put your runes in so that you can shake them up so this will be real you need to pull a handful out and put them on the in the order like that one there the next one goes to there the next one goes to here 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 and then here and then here, and then finally in the center here. Okay, there's my nine runes. Now, what have we got? Well, we have Alahaz, Alahiz, and we have Dagaz, and we have Hagalaz. And we have Zurasaz. And then we have Ozila. And then we have Gabo. And then we have Ansuz. And then we have Isa. And then finally, the main one is Lagoos. Okay, there's our nine rune throws. Now, so, you have a variety of ways you can study these. Note the neat arrangement of threes. You have the three columns, and you got three rows, and you got two diagonals. Nice things to study. Always, uh, you your balances around the center of each set of three. You can study them all and then put them all together. And your, your main one is, of course, the one at the center, square number nine, Lagoos. Uh, what I propose is <coughs> a more transformative uh, technique of intoning the first syllable sounds in the directions, say, from Lagoos to Alhees, so Lagis, and then Lagu, Lagus to Dagas, you could go Lada, around Laha, around Latu, okay, now this is a vowel, Odila, so you just go low, and then uh, la gay, another vowel up here on sous, just go la, and then another vowel down here, e, so go li, 
సో ఇట్లో ఇదో లగీస్ లడా లహ లతు లో లగే లా లీ and then just continue to go round and round and round and round kind of a chant to trance and and listen to each each syllable as you say each one you listen to it you hear it it goes directly into your ears it's not going off into space who cares it doesn't have to go off into space it's it's for you this is for you to absorb and to uh your body to react to so having said that there's that now other things we can look at other things to look at look at this these are my project here working with the crystals this is uh based on an enochian square and their stonehenge ah the mighty stonehenge and up here i've been working on here i got nine uh sigils going around in a circle i got lagus lagus with each of the vowels in the center here so i got uh, lu la li le lo this center here belongs to the other system i'm talking about it's the center square number nine. the center of the galaxy the center of all things these are sigilized dream words from over the years of my life uh, nahe Kand, L3, Tsuiden, Imazuki, Anatas, Shaiton, Anubis Thoth, Bara. So these are, these are dream elements that have been brought into the flesh. So their intoning and their visualization reincorporates dream quality into waking quality. So, having said that, uh, I don't know what else I need to say. I think we've got it pretty good. Mm.